All right, so we are recording this as a double elimination because we could not eliminate anyone yesterday because there was a glitch in the polls. So today, we, I've decided to combine today's votes with yesterday's votes as we decided to extend the period of voting to do a double elimination. And there is a total of... Um, Four votes. Three from yesterday and one from today. Um, and two different people did get votes, and those two team people are going to be eliminated because it's a double elimination. And the people who are going home today... Each of them have two votes, by the way. The first one is Oshawatice, and the second one is It's Buff Nugget. That means Caleb, Poto Poto, Kronos, Indubity, and Extreme Cherry are all safe and move on for another episode. But you may be wondering. They have five members. Yes, they have five members. Which is exactly why someone from either blue team or yellow team, because they have the most members, is going to switch to this team. Alright. You know what? how this worked last time. Last time we spun the wheel till there was one player left, and that determined who was going to be... Traded to another team. Let's find out who's going to be traded. Well, it's not real Gouda Games, as he will remain on his team. Or Ultra. Not Camo either. Or Tobrazy Tournament 1 winner. Or Mitch. Dom's not switching either. I'm staying on my team. Golden's staying on his team. And Blinks is staying on... Okay, so all three of the big three are going to stay on the same team. Melee will stay on their team. Dexter. And... It looks like Michael's going to be switching teams. Super Nuclear will be switching teams. They will be switching from the blue team to the re to the um, green team on Team Poto. So good luck, Michael, on your new team. And let's get to today's challenge. All right, we are back for prize fighters for this next challenge. We had we have the same matchups for some reason. I get got drafted. So the matchups today will start off with Team Potos. I don't remember. Nope, not here. Not you either. Team Poto. Versus Team Thunder. Except the difference is there's going to be one knockout to make this as quick as possible. So whoever falls to the ground first loses. Because, yeah, last time matches took nine minutes, which is ridiculous for a boxing match. Oh, crap. I'm in except exhibition mode. Whoopsies. I gotta switch to this mode. Okay, we're on the right settings now. Alright. The only round there is. Your objective, knock out your opponent. You knock out your opponent, you're safe from tonight's elimination. 
You failed to do so, and you will have to suffer the penalties tomorrow when your voting begins. And also, I believe this might be the last challenge before we switch to the, the um, season, the three teams. That's right, the teams will be changing soon, as you will no longer be on the same team as someone else. The new teams will be completely randomized, as there will only be enough players for three teams. So that means that we will have different teams. And, yeah, it's going to be crazy. And looks like Team Koto is safe tonight by knocking out Team Thunder. Now we got... I'm looking for Team Huge. There they are. Versus Team Flock. Same rules. When, with the number of teams dropping from four to three, this will mean that you will no longer have a one in four chance of losing a challenge. It is now a one in three. So it's going to be a little bit more frequent when you guys have to be up for elimination. Except Team Thunder, which has never been up for elimination yet. And if they... Which has, which is kind of crazy. This fight is taking a while. Last time, Team Huge won, almost won. I swear, Team Flock has already lost three challenges, to be fair, to just in the record. Technically, Team Poto has lost um, three challenges because even though, well, that was mainly because of a double elimination. They technically lost only two, but we treated it as a three because they had to eliminate two people tonight because of a poll bug, which was an easy fix. So it's starting to look like Team Flock is going to win this game. It's like April Fools. It's Team Huge that's gonna win this game.
these guys both have two power punches at their disposal. Fight faster. The whole reason I changed some of the settings is because last time, this exact game right here, between these two exact fighters, took literally 10 minutes to finish. I had no idea why it would take 10 minutes to finish. It's definitely going to be a lot shorter, though, because whoever goes gets knocked out first loses. And it looks like Team Huge is going to get revenge on Team Flock. And they do. All right, so that me that will bring us to the final. Team Thunder versus Team Flock. Team Flock, I suggest you don't lose this challenge because it you don't want to be known as the person who's lost four different challenges. Yeah, they've already lost three times. It's ridiculous. However, Team Thunder has not lost once. Well, you can already see who the likely opponent is going to lose. Team Flock freaking sucks. What is this? This is going to be their fourth challenge they've lost. Oh my goodness. They lost, I believe... I think this will be, um, I think they've lost one of every different type of event. They've lost a football game, they've lost a basketball game, they've lost a freaking hockey, and now they're about to lose boxing too. This fight's still going on. I guess we can call this the ketchup and mustard fight. And there you have it. Team Flock has lost four challenges now. And it's, this is truly an embarrassment to everyone on that team.
Like, dude, you already have six players. But it's not, that's not going to matter anymore. Because we're switching up the teams after this elimination. As all the players will come together to form three teams. Since we will be down to the final 24 players. As the fourth team will be removed. So, yep, and that will be the end of the episode. And we will see you. Make sure you guys. Oh, wee, wee, wee! Before that, we got to check the videos. Welcome to the front page of the world's most embarrassing franchise Team Flock. They literally now lost four challenges. So, we, for the fourth time, are going to try to review everything on this team. And this will be the last time we will review Team Flock ever. Why? It's because this is the last episode where we will have four teams. We will be disbanding all four teams and creating three new teams known as Team Taco, Team Burger, and Team Pizza. As you will be drafted randomly on each of them. As, as we get to the remaining 24 pretty shortly. So whoever gets voted out today or gets voted out in this elimination is the last person getting eliminated from the first quarter of the entire tournament as we get to quarter number two pretty shortly. This means you will have eight people on your team again, something you haven't had since, depending on who you are, depending on what team you are, since either episodes one or two, or three, or even zero. As T Team Poto only had eight members for um, one episode. Um, Team Flock had only um, had eight members for two episodes. Team Poto for or no, Team Huge for three. No, Team Thunder for three. Team Thunder had to have someone switch teams because Team Flock lost two challenges in a row. And then Team Huge lost. But that didn't stop Team Flock from losing the next challenge after that. And now they've lost the current one, which is why we are here today. Let's review. This is Black Phoenix. Chin NK5. Plush. Hold up, this is a Download and solve the puzzles now. I had no idea that Plush had ads on his videos. Max Talks. Feel free to things that you can do. Um, another good tip for kind of the, the keeping your cost low. Thomas Champ. And then finally, the round. Max Price. This better be good. Who are you? I am from the future. And I want to see if he has a new video, though. He probably... 
Yes, he does. That means by rule, we have to review this one instead. It's sad that only one person in this and two people in this entire tournament upload at a decent rate. This is why in tournament seven, I will be drafting random people with two spots open for signups or like people like Poto and them. If they want to join that, if they want to play in tournament seven. Which is coming up in May. So that's going to be around when the class of 2023 graduates. So it's going to be summer showdowns about to begin pretty shortly. It won't be long. Or summer showdown 2023. Right now, we're still on the middle of Gamer's Return, which is the spring season. Summer Showdown is the most popular when it comes to gaming because everyone's off from school. And they're all at home. The only people who are not, the only people who are not off from school are those of you who take summer classes at either summer school or you just decided to do college during the summer semester. Um, but for the most part, people either use, do the spring semester or the s winter semester. Or the spring semester or the fall semester. There's usually about three semesters per year for college, and for high school, you, you have two. Because summer is summer break. I mean, you could have three high school semesters if you go to summer school. Which actually could help you graduate quicker. Because you can become a three and out. But if you're even, if you're literally going to night school and all that kind of stuff is on top of that, you could also be a two and out, which is a thing. So somehow that's a thing. Yeah, you could literally graduate from high school in the 10th grade as an underclassman. That is easy. Of course, I didn't take that route because I was like, what the frick am I going to do graduating at age 16? <laughs> yeah, I would be 16 when I leave that. Well, I'm 19 now, about to turn 20 in August. But let's just review his video. Thanks for meeting me, and I know this is crazy, but you two are the perfect people to pull off this bank robbery. You, you both need the cash, uh, you both have the brains, and you both have non-memorable faces. So on Wednesday at 0600... Sorry, what? Sorry, what was the last bit? Huh? You said our faces weren't memorable. Yeah, it's perfect. So on Wednesday at 0600... Sorry, our faces aren't memorable? But what the fuck? How is that perfect? You said that's offensive. Um, okay, we're getting sidetracked, but... Once we do the robbery, the police will interview witnesses, and because you don't have any distinct features, they won't be able to draw you, and we'll get away with the robbery. And that's why you're the getaway driver, is it? And what? Two years. You know how non-memorable you are? I still have you saved as Dylan's mate from the retreat hotel in my phone. Jack reminded me of your name just before you got here. See, I had to remind her. And I got it wrong. Okay, I'll get the cash and you... Okay. See, props to Max Price for actually returning and to compete in this tournament. Everyone else is AFK. Literally. There's literally, thir there was 30 people who were AFK in this tournament. Literally. Which is a large number of people, which is why I cannot wait to draft some people. All right, so yep, we've reviewed the videos. Make sure you sub so that you guys are ready for the next episode whenever it comes out. 
as that's when we will determine who's going on what team. See ya!